What's up guys, Quantrix02 here with another figure review. Today I have for you the ultimate fusion. It is the event exclusive slash San Diego Comic Con exclusive SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Let's get into it. Well, here we are, folks, with the final of the three event exclusive uh, SH Figure Arts DBZ figures. Uh, this is Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Uh, and as always, guys, before we get into the figure, what we're going to do is the thing we're going to do first is take a look at the box. And I've been raving about these boxes, and this one is no different. But this one is has a, a a little bit of a twist compared to the other two. But this is a exclusive, exclusive box. Uh, because, like I said in the previous uh, videos, you'll be able to get these figures from the uh, Dragon Ball North American uh, tour. They'll be hitting seven different cities, including uh, New York City, I already hit San Diego Comic Con, um, and uh, some other places. Uh, but since this one was, was since this one was the exclusive for uh, Comic Con, this one came with a more exclusive box. This box right here is uh, was only available at Comic Con. The only real difference between this box and the normal event exclusive box is that you have the Comic Con logo here and there's Comic Con uh, in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but in the in the background of this there's a uh, Comic Con uh, logos in the back. So that was only uh, this this packaging was only available at uh, Comic Con uh, but the normal event exclusive packaging will be kind of like the, the last two like the sale and the and the Broly, basically the same box without the Comic Con logos everywhere. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, let's look at the rest of the box. So, got that cool uh, blue picture of um, Vegito right here. All of his blue and black is really, really cool. Got SH Figure Arts Vegito uh, Event Exclusive Color Edition. Uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. I hate that they still use that. It's called Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, anyway, you got the toy sticker, the Funimation sticker, a warning sticker. Uh, that will come down a little bit. You can see that. Uh, Bandai Tamashi Nations, uh, the exclusive Comic Con sticker, the 2018 exclusive Dragon Ball Super. Um, and then you got, like I said, you got the Comic Con logo in the back there. And then on the side, SH Figure Arts, uh, already read this stuff. Dragon Ball Super, pictures of the figure in the back. Uh, some uh, you can read up on it, and then there's some warning stuff at the bottom there. Another picture of the figure at the top. You can read that if you want. There's the bottom. There you have it, guys. Awesome, awesome packaging. I will be keeping this packaging, but I will be taking this bad boy out of the box. There's no way you could contain the power of Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Let's take a look at the figure. All right, here is SS Blue Vegeta with everything he comes with out of the package. Before we took a, take a look at the accessories, let's take a look at Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta himself. All right, guys, and here is SS Blue Vegeta. And before we go any further, let me just state that this, guys, is just a recolor, a repaint of the original uh, Vegito mold. So if you have the original Vegito, this is very, very, very similar. The only, only difference is that they colored it in the Dragon Ball Super uh, colors. This is not a new figure. There is no new articulation. This is not on the 2.0 body. This is on the uh, Goku 1.0 body. And uh, basically going to be buying this for uh, the recolor. Which the recolor is very, very, very nice compared to the original. We're going to be taking a look at the uh, original compared to uh, this version in a second. Uh, but right now we're just going to take a look at uh, the event exclusive. And my gosh, I really, really enjoy this. Now, I have to say, out of the three figures that I have reviewed, that being Sale, Broly, and now uh, Vegito, uh, this one has the sloppiest paint job of them all. Um, I didn't really find any quality control issues with uh, the other two. Uh, but with this one, there is a couple. They're not terrible, but um, like you can see right here that the paint on the neck... And the neck going into like the torso here is uh, two different shades here. I think this is actually paint, and they, they and this this is like the plastic color, I believe. And then they kind of painted his uh, like chest here, 
and it looks weird. I'm not really sure if the original was like that. I, I'll be I'll check once we compare the two, but that looks kind of off. Uh, and then there's a little bit of slappiness here and there. You can kind of see on the side here a couple of nicks there. But uh, other than that, it's pretty good. I really, really enjoy the paint though. The paint of this one is leads better, leaks better uh, than the original. And first of all, we're going to take it the most noticeable thing and that is the super sand blue hair and uh, I love this color I wish they actually would have used this color for Goku and uh, Vegeta uh, they, I guess they were still trying to figure out what they want to do with those figures because not only were the colors kind of off to me uh, both Vegeta and Goku had different types of blue one was like a metallic blue one was a matte blue I don't know what they were doing but they just don't look that great but this I really, really enjoy this like turquoise blue color that they gave this uh, Vegito. And just like the uh, Broly figure that I reviewed previously, uh, he also has like that fairy dust in there. I don't know what to call it, like a little glitter going on in there that looks really, really good. Uh, I actually really enjoy that touch. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's probably not going to, it's probably not going to show up uh, on camera, uh, but it is there. And it looks awesome. Um, as far as the face goes, uh, the faces are just like the other ones, but there's, there's a couple differences. We're actually going to take a look at all the faces uh, once we compare the two figures. Uh, they're actually a little bit different, and I think the detail is a little bit better here. Uh, his, he has the metallic um, earrings going on right there. You can see. Oh, let's zoom it out a little bit. Uh, come on. Bogus focus so there's that you go down to the um, the torso here uh, there is shading throughout the gi you can see it goes from a, like a light blue to a darker blue here and uh, same thing here for the orange which is really good there's shading throughout the uh, skin tone here and the creases throughout you can see there's little shades of brown uh, in the muscles uh, one of my favorite things about this figure, other than the uh, the hair, it has to be the sash being a light blue. I never, never, never liked the design of the original um, Vegito having the same color gi and sash. It just there, there needed to be some kind of like uh, break up there. The, the fact that the, all the color was just the same always bothered me. I like man, they just need to change that color and changing it to this lighter blue. Uh, to match the, the hair is a very very with a very good choice and I'm glad that they made that change in Dragon Ball Super and it translates well here in the figure as well so I really really enjoy that go down there's still some there's some shading here uh, in the the, uh, the pants and yeah is it on the back let's see if this stuff's on the back too yep there is shading on the back as well on the body on the uh, the back of the the torso and the pants, there's uh, some shading. So it's shading all the way throughout. Go down here to the boots. They also have a little bit of shading there too. You can see on the back a little bit of gray here and there. And then you have the uh, kind of dark gold, dark yellowish mustard colored uh, tips. And then at the bottom, it's a uh, gray. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but it looks pretty cool. Um, and the 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 uh, gloves also have great shading in there as well. So this thing is, this guy is chuck full of shading, which is good. I wish they would go back to this for all the figures. Uh, but you know, this being a repaint, they feel like they had to go all out. Uh, if you want to, they want you to pay for uh, basically a recolor of a figure that you already have. They had to go all out with the paint, and I'm glad that they actually did. Uh, now that we looked at the paint, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, Vegito's articulation. Alright guys, if you've been collecting SH figures, uh, figures, especially the Dragon Ball kind, you already know about this articulation. Like I said, this figure is on the 1.0 body, specifically the Goku 1.0 body, uh, which a lot of figures have used this mold, and Vegito is definitely uh, one of them. And uh, as much as I would have loved to, uh, hopefully we, we can get a 2.0 Vegito in the future, but this is what we have right now. And for the hundredth time... I am going to go over the articulation uh, for this body. 
So, uh, head is only a ball pick. You can spin it around, all that's jazz. Uh, you also have articulation at the bottom of the neck to help, so the head can go up about that much. So, not, basically, not at all. His head will not go up at all. It goes down about that much. Uh, you use the bottom of the neck, it goes down even further. Uh, so, you're not going to really get any up with this figure. His head does not go up at all. You get a little side to side action here. Uh, you go down to the shoulders. Is on that um, the ball peg. You can go around right here. You can move it all around right here. And the shoulder pad is on. Uh, is plugged to the back of the shoulder here. So you can move that around as you like. And then you have a bicep swivel. Double hinged elbow. Goes way better than 90. Really good. Uh, yeah, the <clears throat> the wrist is on a ball peg. You can spin that around and hinge it back and forth. Come down to the torso. Uh, and this has the uh, classic uh, Dragon Ball uh, articula articulation here. Not a real um, uh, ab crunch, but you can extend the body and move it forward like this. So it goes like that. And it goes back that much. And when you're done, you can move it around all around like that. And when you're done doing that, you can plug that back in. There is waist articulation. So you can spin his waist around like that. The sash is a separate piece. So that moves around freely. And then you have the old uh, figure arts drop down method for the legs. So you can pull that down to extend kicks. So you can go up about that much. Go back about that much. And you can put that right back in. And then you go down to the legs. You have your uh, hinge here at the knee that has that awful articulation. I'm glad this is gone. This is the, I hate this articulation so much, but it works. It works uh, better than 90. Um, yeah. And then you go down here to the ankles, and they uh, move like this. You swivel that around, and there is uh, ankle rocker. Not the best, but it's there. And then toe articulation. Um, so yeah, there is the 1.0 body. One more time. Hopefully, this is the last figure that has his body because I think we're, we're this thing is basically uh, defunct. I don't think we're ever going to see this figure, this body again. They have moved on to the 2.0 body. Uh, but one last time, they gave us this one. But you know what? This is the best. This is actually the best figure I have with this body because everything up here is tight. Uh, all the joints are tight. Um, they don't, nothing, nothing is loose on this figure. This guy is is great uh, as far as you know using this body and it being the best it could be. This is probably the best uh, figure using the 1.0 Goku body. So we looked at articulation. Now it's time to compare the two figures. In the gun here, we're not going to compare the figures just yet. Uh, we're first we're going to do is look at the accessories, and it's the same accessories that came with the original release. You got the folded arms here. You have the uh, the base form here, which is a little different. It's shaded differently. We we'll get to that, and uh, once we compare the two figures, uh, then you have uh, five different faces. You have the the neutral face that you already seen. Uh, you have uh, two Super Saiyan, well three Super Saiyan Blue um, faces. You have a one looking to the side. You have uh, a yelling looking to the other side. You have uh, the base form head looking to the side. And then you have a screaming uh, base form head or faceplate. And in your hands, you have the hand that's used for um, the spirit sword. Two Kamehameha hands, and yes, they still have the finger fingernails on the tips. Unfortunately, they didn't change that. Um, and then the blasting hands, two blasting hands, and also the fists that come on out of the package. And then you have the best accessory, which is the spirit sword. A translucent, um, not as translucent as the original, but uh, look kind of a milkyish color here. With this yellow, and it looks good to me. I wish they would have put some shading in it, but uh, you know, it is what it is. But it still looks pretty good. So that's what you that's what you get with Vegito. And now it's time to compare the two figures: the original versus the event exclusive.
All right, guys, and here are both uh, Fujito side by side. Right now, I have both their uh, base heads on. So on your right, you have the original release, and on the left is the event exclusive, aka San Diego Comic Con release. And just looking at them, you can tell that there's some big differences, and it's really showing up actually better on camera. I'm looking at it, uh, you know just you know looking at it from right now here let's look looking straight at them uh, their comparisons are very show up really really well on the camera okay guys and here are both Vegito's uh, side by side uh, right now I have the base form heads on on your right you have the original release and on your left is the event exclusive aka San Diego comic-con exclusive release and uh, you can tell just by looking at them right now that they are some definitely definitely are some differences between the two even with the hair uh, like I was going to mention earlier let's just take a look at the hair both like I said both having the base form head on uh, there is definitely a difference here I'm not sure exactly how well it's going to show up on camera but they are two different shades uh, the original has just a straight matte black color uh, which is very accurate. It's very accurate to the Dragon Ball Z Majin Buu, Majin Buu uh, Super Vegito uh, um, figure in in the uh, arc. Uh, and then you on your left is the like I said the uh, Dragon Ball Super uh, Vegito in his base form. His hair was not black. If you go back and look at the um, pictures from. The Zamasu uh, Goku Black arc, or Super Saiyan, or Super, uh, what is it, the, the Future Trunks arc, as I should say. Um, his hair was not black, it was this brown color. It is very accurate to the Super anime. So I'm glad that they took the time to uh, even do that much. That is crazy. I, I thought they were just going to give us a, a straight, uh, you know, uh, just straight re release of this. Uh, figure as far as the base heads go I thought it was going to be straight black but it's not they actually took the time and went with the details that's in the um, Dragon Ball Super anime so his hair is actually brown and not black in the anime and I really really dig that and I'm really, really a big I'm a bigger fan of the brown hair compared to the black we have so many characters with just straight black hair I like that his hair is brown it looks really really good in figure form as well um, and then you go down and uh, yeah, the the skin tones here are uh, here on the chest. They are the same, so I really can't complain about that because the original was like that as well. So you know, I can't take that away from the figure. Um, the oranges uh, are two different types of oranges. The the orange on the original is kind of a darker orange, and the one the event exclusive one is a lighter orange. And the same goes for the blues. The blues are darker here on the um, the original. And the exclusive has a lighter blue, which I like better because you can actually see more of the shading. You can't really see the shading in the um, the original because the, the 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 blue is so dark. There is shading there, but it's so dark that you really it doesn't really pick up that well. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna, even going to pick up on camera very well either. But you can definitely see the shading with the newer version. And I think the reason why it's, why this is a lighter blue, other than the fact that they had to change it, period, because it uh, is, is is a color, a premium color edition. Uh, it's the fact that when he's Super Saiyan Blue, uh, his their outfits are brighter anyway. So I think that's the reason why they did that. Uh, the gloves. The gloves on the original are more of a white with a little bit of blue shading in there. Where with the event exclusive, it's more of a gray with dark gray, a darker gray um, shading. The skin tones may be a little teeny bit different, but you really can't tell that much. Um, and then obviously the sh the sashes, one of my favorite things here. The sash are different colors. I actually like that a lot. Um, so in the original, it's just the same color as his gi, and here you have it being this actual like lighter blue, which I dig a lot. Um, here, the original lighter, uh, the white is lighter on the boots, and while on the event exclusive, it's a kind of a gray. And the tips here. A lighter mustard yellow compared to a darker mustard yellow. 
and I almost forgot, uh, the earrings are different too. Uh, the earrings on the original is just like kind of this, I guess it's a metallic gray, but it's not as metallic as this one. Like this one's like a darker one, and this one is, you know, uh, brighter. And the actual yellow pieces on the on the uh, the Patora earrings are just a a normal yellow, where this one is a metallic kind of gold going on. And now looking at it, the he the actual faces have been uh, improved upon. I think the face on the new one looks way better than they do here on the original. Like there's something just off model about the original uh, faces, where here, for some I, mean, I guess it's the paint. It just looks a lot better. I don't know what it is, but it just looks better to me. And uh, they decided to do something funny here, uh, and like the base, the base form heads don't have. Uh, they're not matching up. Like I'll, I'll explain that in a second. Just, before I get into that, let's just look at the uh, the Super Saiyan head versus the uh, Super Saiyan Blue head. All right, and here is the Super Saiyan Blue versus the Super Vegito head. Uh, for the Super Vegito, the hair is just a straight yellow. I never really liked that. I don't really use this uh, head sculpt much um, at all because I don't like that. There's like, I don't think there's any shading with this figure, and the, the hair is just like this really, really bright yellow. Uh, but I guess it looks okay. But you compare it to the Super Saiyan Blue, which has this nice shiny. Uh, you know, blue color, perfect turquoise blue color with that little fairy dust uh, glitter in there. Uh, I love that. It looks great. Um, but yeah, there's the, the differences there. But like I was trying to state earlier, uh, they kind of switched the head sculpts up with the um, with the original. So let me let me show you what I got. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Give me one second. All right. So here again is the uh, the original uh, base form Goku, one of his faces, face plates, and that doesn't match up with the uh, with the face plates of the um, on the face plates of the the new base form head. They kind of switched it. So this this face this uh, face plate is the if I can find it here. Yeah. So they use this these two so like here is the two face plates right here this is um, instead of making this the base they actually just turned this into the blue form and uh, there is the original like I said look at that look at the differences between those two like that looks this one looks so off model compared to this one it's crazy let me find another one so you got the two the side head they also this used to be a the this used to be um, let me see, this is the sad one of the sad face plates right here. The smirking one. Uh this I believe was um was a base form um head instead of a Super Saiyan head. So let me see if I can find that real quick. Oh I was wrong, this actually this actually was a Super Saiyan head, but here's here's these two face plates compared to each other. Obviously the new one's winning. This guy right here, uh uh. And here are the two forward screaming sculpts, uh, which was once uh, a Super Saiyan. I thought they would have used this. This would have been a Super Saiyan Blue, but they just made it base. So this is how they look. And yeah, once again, the new one's winning. And now it is size comparison time. Time to compare them to different figures from different lines. Overall, guys, this is a solid figure. Um... I know that it is the 1.0 body, and you know that's kind of a you know people were. I think at this point everybody's over this uh, body mold. Where everybody's at the 2.0. We're enjoying the 2.0 body, and hopefully one day we will get a Vegito Blue with the 2.0 body. But for now, this is what we have, and I think if you if you're a really really big uh, Dragon Ball fan, and you feel like you need this this specific character in your collection. Uh, this is the way you're going to have to go from now. If you want an official release. Um, like I said, the only way you can get this guy is at the uh, 
Dragon Ball Super North American uh, tours, which is uh, there are seven dates. One is already passed. There's six more to go, so you got six more chances to, to try to get this guy. Because if you don't, you have to buy him on the aftermarket for inflated prices, which sucks for us. Uh, hopefully, uh, we like I said, hopefully we get a, a actual 2.0 uh, Street Stand Blue in the future. But for now, that's what we have to go with. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed the review, please hit that like button. Uh, and if you like this figure, tell me about it in the comments below. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. There's more figure reviews uh, and collection uh, reviews and everything on this on this channel. And and if you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell icon to get notified every time I put up a new video. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna sign off here. Stay tuned for the side the slideshow at the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay gold. Peace.